Hey coders and welcome to a brand new playlist on this Flutter course. In this season, we're going to be taking a deeper dive into the Dart programming language, starting out with this introductory episode where we're just gonna try to wrap our heads around what Dart is, what it's useful for, and why Flutter has chosen it as its programming language of choice. The goal of Dart is to offer the most productive programming language for multi-platform development. And that is why Flutter has chosen it as its programming language. Now beyond that, you don't really need to know all of the low level processes that go on in Dart. The only thing you need to know is the syntax really to use Flutter. And a great place to start with that is to understand that every Dart program begins with a main method. So whenever you write Dart scripts, you should always begin by writing this main method because that is where the script will start executing. We're gonna see that very soon when we jump on in over to the code editor at www.dartpad.dev. And I would also invite you to go to this website and practice writing Dart yourself. The Dart SDK is already pre-built into that website. So you can just start writing Dart and start executing Dart programs. But before we do that, let's look at one more slide to see more of the advantages of Dart. So again, you don't really need to know these in order to use Flutter, but since I am making a tutorial about Dart, I felt obliged to at least write a few more of the advantages of the Dart programming language. Number one, it is made and backed by Google. So that means it has an abundance of documentation and it also has rich resource, uh, resources if you need to ask questions about a certain problem that you have with Dart. Number two, it's easy to learn. So it takes in aspects of JavaScript, Java, and C Sharp. Number three, it offers ahead of time and just in time compilation, which means that it's insanely fast performance and quick development cycles. And finally, number four, it's a statically typed language and provides sound null safety. All right, with that out of the way, let's jump on in over to the code editor and write our very first Dart script. If you're just looking to write and execute Dart scripts without having to install anything on your local laptop, then this resource right here, dartpad.dev, can come in handy. Dartpad allows you to write in Dart and then execute that, and you can see the output on the console. So let's do that right now. Let's write our very first Dart script. If we just try to run this as an empty, uh, as an empty script, just like that, you'll see that we get an error. And that is because again, no main method was found. Every single Dart script has to recognize a main method within the script itself so that it knows where to start its execution. All right, so to write the main method, uh, you need to write first what it's going to return. I'm just going to return void for now and say main. And that is how you write your main method. Again, the title of it needs to be main and then you need to uh, you need to specify that it's going to return void or nothing. So let's just write a simple hello world script by saying print hello world. And if we run this now, then you can see that we're going to get another error and that is because it ex is expecting a semicolon. So after every single line, this is one of those languages that is semicolon strict. So that's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes, but uh, that's just what we're going to have to deal with. All right, so now if we run it this time, we should get hello world as the output, and indeed we do. So that's all that we're going to look at for right now. We're going to be getting into some of the more complicated aspects of Dart as we progress through the videos of this playlist. But for right now, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the very next episode.